So we've talked about the rating life, or the L10 life. That's one standard way of quantifying life. And, and it turns out that the standard rating life, the L10 life, is 1 million revolutions, 10 to the power of 6 revolutions. In addition to having a standard way of describing the life of bearings, we also have a standard way of describing the load on bearings. And we call this the catalog load rating. And the symbol we use for that is C10. So there's a relationship between C10 and L10. C10, the catalog load rating, is the load that causes 10% of the bearings to fail at the L10 life, or usually 10 to the 6 revolutions. The catalog load rating is also known as the basic dynamic load rating. or simply the basic load rating. So if you're designing a system that's using bearings and you're using a bearing vendor catalog to get your data from and you happen to see basic dynamic load rating or basic load rating then you can know that that value is synonymous with what we're talking about here as the catalog load rating. I should point out that the typical value for the L10 rating, 10 to the 6, is actually a very short life. As we talked about just a moment ago, usually if we increase force on bearings, then the life is reduced. As we discussed before, usually if we increase the force applied to a bearing, the life is reduced. And keeping this in mind, since this is a, usually a very short life for a bearing, then the corresponding C10 rating, that is uh, usually much higher than we would normally, uh, it's a much higher force value than normally would be applied to a bearing. So one of the most important concepts that we're going to cover today is how do we translate the requirements for our particular system that uses bearings to data that is available in a catalog. So uh, just to clarify, uh, we have a number of things that are important for bearings. We need to know what their load rating is, we need to know what their life is, we need to know what their reliability is, and we've, we have these three different factors combined together that are all related but it would be impractical for a bearing vendor to list in their catalog all sorts of different forms of this data. For example, at many different levels of reliability or many different levels of life. That would just uh, dramatically increase the size of the catalog. And so instead of doing that, they have standardized ways of reporting the data. And we've already started to discuss this. So, for example, they only report data with respect to the L10 life. And they also only report data with respect to a reliability value of 90%. So given the L10 life and the standard reliability, then they report what the C10 value is, the catalog load rating. So we need to be able to take our requirements, maybe we have a different reliability rating, uh, a different reliability re requirement, a different life requirement, uh, or a different load requirement. We need to be able to take all of those requirements and translate them in terms of the L10 life value and the 90% reliability value so that we can go into a bearing vendor catalog and look through the available bearings and select one that's going to work for our system and meet our requirements. So we're going to talk about a few different formulas that allow us to do that. And in the first case, we're going to look at uh, just how do we relate 
life and force. And here we're going to assume a constant reliability of 90%. So we've already looked at this figure. We've noticed that there's this strong relationship between force and life. So force times life to the power of 1 over a is always equal to a constant. So that means if we have some design or desired force that our, our bearing needs to support and then some desired life, then that's equal to a constant. And for the same bearing, the the catalog force, catalog load rating, times the catalog life to the power of 1 over a is equal to the same constant if we're talking about the exact same bearing. So this formula gives us a way of relating our design requirements to the available data in the catalog. So for example, suppose we know the desired life in hours, and the symbol used here to depict that is this script L sub D. Along with that we need to know the desired speed in rotations per minute. And suppose we also know what the desired load is. Now keep in mind if we know the desired life in hours and the rotational speed, we can use this information to get the desired life in revolutions. So, for example, the number of revolutions is equal to 60 times life in hours times speed in rotations per minute. So, in other words, we can get L sub D by multiplying 60 by L sub n by, oh, sorry, L sub d times n sub d. So we can rearrange these along with this formula up here and solve for the C10 value. So in other words, we have all of this design data, all of these design requirements, so we need to combine them and translate them into the catalog load rating so that we can go into the catalog and choose a bearing that's going to meet our requirements. So if we do that then the C10 rating that's equal to the design load times L sub D times N sub D times 60 divided by L sub R times N sub R times 60 all to the power of 1 over A. Now, keep in mind, this value right here, L sub R times N sub R times 60, is really just L sub R, or the L10 value, and in most cases, that is equal to 10 to the 6 revolutions. So, usually we do not have the catalog life data split out in this way, where we have hours times RPM times 60 but instead we usually just are told that the L10 life is 10 to the 6th.